China's 160-seat single-aisle narrow-body airliner C919 received its type certificate on September 29 after more than five years of test flights. Let's explore some of the questions being debated about this aircraft. First of all, please subscribe to my channel, I really need your support, thank you. The first question is that some people say that China just built the outer shell of the C919 airliner and all the key parts are foreign-made. This is actually a major misunderstanding of the general contractor. In fact, the general contractor has a very high technical level and needs to be able to integrate a large number of products from many enterprises in various countries. This means that the general contractor has no less control over the design and manufacturing technology of this airliner than the subcontractor, if not more than subcontractor. More importantly, it means that the Chinese civil aviation industry has the ability to plan, lead and implement such complex airliner projects. Once the level of subsystem autonomy is achieved, China will soon be able to build complex large airliner completely on its own. Also, in contrast to the previous ARJ-21 project, the latest c 919 project has almost all foreign supplier systems that have joint ventures in China to supply the c 919 project. This means that through this process, the Chinese side has mastered a considerable part of the subsystem design and manufacturing technology and preliminarily established a commercial aircraft parts industry of its own. This is a huge improvement. The second question is, will the C919 receive airworthiness certificates from the US Federal Aviation Administration and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency? Until these certifications are obtained, will the C919 only be able to operate in China and not on international flights? In fact, China signed airworthiness mutual recognition agreements with the United States and the European Union in 2017 and 2019, respectively, covering all sizes of transport aircraft. Whenever one party gives the relevant certification for an aircraft, the other party must recognize it. This means that once the C919 receives China's own airworthiness certificate, it will be able to fly on routes in the United States and the European Union, or across the airspace of those countries, without technical obstacles. But whether an airliner enters another country's airline market is far more complicated in terms of commercial profitability and international politics, and that has nothing to do with technical issues. This scenario is already materialized by the China's ARJ-21 small passenger jet, which carries out routine services to Russia. So can the C919 be exported to the US or the EU, or other countries? In fact, the C919 team has applied for an airworthiness certificate from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency in 2017, and ESA has been involved in the airworthiness review of the C919, so the C919 is on track to receive the European certification. With these certifications, the C919 can then be sold to the European Union airline companies, as well as a large number of countries that accept EU airworthiness certificates. Of course, a country's decision on which type of passenger jet to buy is a complex process fraught with political factors, but the C919's airworthiness certificate alone presents few obstacles. All in all, the C919 can definitely be exported to the EU and the US. The problem is not the technology or the airworthiness certificate, but the politics, which has nothing to do with the technical level of the C919. Thank you for watching my videos, and once again, please subscribe to my channel, share and comment on my videos, thank you.